Welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get right into this. Now, this is going to be literally right into this. We're going to start with the benchmarks of this build, and then we'll get into the normal stuff that you usually see in a video where you talk about the build, you see how it got done, and some of the normal B-roll that comes with it. But I think I'm going to try something different to this one, and you guys can let me know in the comments if you like this style first. So, real quick, the build. 2990WX, 32 core, 64 thread, ASUS Zenith Extreme, G-Skill Trident Z, 64 gig kit, that's four times 16 gig, a one terabyte 970 Pro NVMe, a Titan V, 12 gigabyte HBM2, Intermax Cooler, TR4 360 millimeter, and an EVGA 1000 watt P2. Now that served up a cool Cinebench score of 5338 at a Ryzen Max fixed clock limit of 3.5 gigahertz. As for a little bit of cryptocurrency mining and using JCE's Monero miner, we achieved a total performance of 2495 hash, pretty much out of the box. Now that was at the cost of about 100 watts. The system ran at about 161 watt, and then it bumped to 264 when it was running this Monero miner at nearly 2500 hash, which is quite a bit. To give you an idea, the top reigning champion right now is the Vega 64 with the proper power settings, and configuration gets about 2050 hash so not a bad performance from a cpu moving on to a little bit more testing with cryptocurrency we also tried nice hash performance just to see what a titan v plus a 2990 wac processor would yield and we're looking at about 0.00041 btc per day roughly two dollars and 63 cents at current prices per day now, how did the 2990 WX affect performance for 3D Mark? Well, total performance on the 4K Ultra with the Titan V on stock settings pulled in a cool 7256 total score. And as for Time Spy 4K DirectX 12, almost breaking 10,000 at 9,979. Up there in the 95 percentile, not bad for stock settings across the board on that. Under full game performance, it was using about 420 watts off the EVGA 1000 watt P2 that we used as a power supply. Now this was just a quick cursory test. We're doing some more testing with overclocking and we'll give you a more comprehensive video with better statistics of gaming performance and other CPU mineable coins as we get the multi-miner updated with those. So stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and spend the next few minutes watching how this build came together and some highlights from the past live stream. I do encourage you guys, if you get a chance, to come follow us on Twitch. Obviously, hopefully you're following us and subscribed on YouTube. And of course, we have a Twitter account. So sit back and hear some highlights from this build and some of the capture of the performance testing that we did.